climate is changing, leading to rain variability and unpredictability, long dry periods, and flooding. All around the world, forests are being cut down and hills are becoming bare, leading to massive soil erosion, loss of soil nutrients, and downstream flooding. All of these pressures affect agricultural producers, especially smallholder farmers who already farm in difficult contexts. To help smallholder farmers absorb, adapt to, and recover from these shocks and stresses, through the TOPS program, Mercy Corps has developed a new approach. The resilience design and smallholder farming systems approach helps small farmers develop systems that support soil health and water management to improve their resilience to climate variability and environmental pressures. The approach has five aims. Enhance natural resources and ecosystem services, increase energy efficiency, increase economic income, contribute to increased nutritional status, and strengthen the skill set, capacity, and confidence of smallholder farmers. This approach builds on other technical approaches, such as conservation agriculture, and incorporates design principles from agroecology and permaculture. It is a dynamic, iterative process that requires farmers to look at their farm system within the broader agroecosystem. Through the resilience design and smallholder farming systems approach, farmers observe and analyze local resources and influences that affect their site, and then plan and design their farm system accordingly. Constant learning, analyzing, and redesigning allows for adjustments as external influences like sun, water flow, wind, and man-made influences change over time. The approach follows a four-step process. The first step is to assess the site. Together with farmers in the community, we collect information and map the available resources and influences that affect the site. Next, we help farmers analyze the information collected from the site assessment. We focus on the resources available, energy needed to tend the crops and livestock, external influences affecting the site, slope of the land, as well as gender, social, and economic considerations. Next, farmers in the community design their site through the application of 10 principles. The site will be designed to ensure maximum benefits, for example, by determining the best placement of crops and livestock, and strategically integrating soil and water techniques into the site. And then farmers will observe throughout the rainy season to see how their water harvesting structures hold the water. Farmers will observe the summer sun or the wind to see if the trees protect their crops. This process of observing, learning, and adjusting is key to the approach. Farmers must be able to integrate changes they observe and continually improve their design. Because the approach focuses on understanding a site within its local context, and not a prescribed set of techniques. It can be used at different scales, such as gardens, fields, communities, or landscape. Bringing a community together to better manage its shared resources will help each farm system become more productive and resilient. Through a more thorough farm design, smallholder farmers become more resilient to environmental shocks and stresses.